My name is Dr. Cynthia Magro. I'm a professor in pathology and laboratory medicine at the Weill Cornell Medical College of Cornell University. I'm the director of dermatopathology for the medical college. Dermatopathology is the study of cutaneous disease under the microscope. It is a specialty in both dermatology and surgical pathology. The dermatologist recognizes the skin diseases primarily through clinical examination. Skin lesions have a very characteristic appearance, uh, anatomic distribution, and clinical course. However, there are skin diseases that are more chronic and recalcitrant, and as a consequence, it is not uncommon for a dermatologist to do a skin biopsy to establish a definitive diagnosis in cases where clinical examination alone is not definitive in regards to diagnosis. The skin biopsy is a procedure that involves removing a portion of the skin and sending it to the laboratory for pathological analysis. The diagnosis is going to be very critical in terms of determining treatment. A misdiagnosis is a reality of pathology. A misdiagnosis could be because of the lack of experience of the pathologist reviewing the slide. Maybe the pathologist has not reviewed the slide carefully enough. In some instances, the pathology may be apparent only on deeper sections in the tissue block, and perhaps those deeper sections to implore the block were not uh, exercised, and hence the pathology was not uh, uncovered. Importantly is the fact that morphology is subjective. So subjectivity is a very critical factor as well. A patient should not have any concerns regarding seeking a second opinion. Doctors are confronted with patients wanting a second opinion all the time, especially now that patients have full access to their condition on the internet and they're much more savvy than they were many years ago. And it will also emphasize to the doctor that the patient wants to have an active role in their care as opposed to assuming a passive role. I think the second opinion will be very important for the patient to confirm the diagnosis that was rendered or to ensure that a, the correct diagnosis or the best diagnosis has been made.